think our generation is going to have to step up to the plate and create the environment where kids feel safe and dreaming big. I mean, we live in a tremendously technologically advanced society. And if we are not developing the people that can maintain and support it, then we are leaving our future in the hands of someone else. But it's no longer a moral issue. It's an issue of existence for the country. How can you survive when 70 or 80 percent of your workforce is not involved in any type of technology, engineering, science? We cannot remain a leading nation when we are lagging in the most important areas. It is now important that we use all of our brain power. That's why organizations like NACME is so important, because for nearly four decades, we have been seriously focused on the challenge of increasing the representation of African American, American Indian, and Latino women and men who are successful in engineering education and successful in engineering careers. Minorities and women are underrepresented for one of two reasons. One is they don't know what engineering is, or two, they think they can't do it and think they can't afford it. And NACME is addressing those very problems very directly. We're not just going to talk about it, but we're going to bring in these students and we're going to show that they can succeed and that they will succeed. When we have pockets of excellence embedded within our schools, pretty soon those pockets of excellence begin to expand and it covers an entire school, which in turn covers an entire neighborhood. I see so many students who did not know what engineering was pick up an interest for the field and say, you know what, Ms. Dennis, I want to be a civil engineer. We believe very strongly at our school that all students should be included in engineering. Some of our best ideas have come from some very unlikely students. I think we've learned over the years that it isn't just the color or the gender. It is whether or not we can engage our young people, get them interested through role models, through examples, and through opportunity. When you look at trying to encourage kids to consider an engineering education, and particularly in the underrepresented minorities, uh, there's no one more credible than NACME because they are the role models and they represent companies that have the role models. NACME provided some services with mentoring and scholarship. A lot of the times you don't see people who look like you in positions that you aspire to. It's really encouraging when the coursework gets a little heavy and the stress levels are high to see that there are people before you who've made it and that there's somewhere for you to end up in the future. And I've seen when the person finishes, uh, the contributions they make to academia, the contributions they make to corporations. ExxonMobil is known for working on solving the world's toughest energy challenges, so we need engineers to do our job, and NACME plays a vital role in that in terms of broadening the pool of engineers that are available to us to address these challenges. Companies like Exxon, they're leading the race. They understand that our biggest resources are our children. The vision is to grow the future pioneers of the 21st century. The ball is rolling. There's more schools involved. There's more schools that want to be involved, and there's more kids interested in it. All of us are looking in the same direction, and we don't want to leave anybody out. We have to open it up. We have to educate all people, and I think everybody understands that. NACME's vision is an engineering workforce that looks like America. Once we arrive at that point, it will mean that we have strongly positioned America to remain competitive. More importantly, it will mean that we have brought a higher quality of life to so many communities that now are shut out of participation in STEM education and careers.